か老师莫说开You mean that building? Oh. Uh, during the destruction. No, uh, no, knowledge is here, not outside. Oh. When I visit Nalendra, ruined uh, area, some pigeons flying from here. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. Uh, there are knowledge over a thousand years we kept in, at least in Tibetan Sarawasthi uh, Tibetan monastic institution kept using this knowledge. So on this planet, Nalendra knowledge still very much alive. Now more and more, as I mentioned earlier, non-Buddhists also now showing interest, and including many scientists. Then, okay, Karsa Inda, that's your main question. Uh, y- yes, sir. Hmm? These B- Buddhist teaching uh, not depend on big house, big temple. But study, study, and this text. We have over 300 volumes, all translated from Sanskrit and Pali, and some, I think, Nepalese. So altogether, Buddha's own word, about 100 volume, and then commentary, like Nagarjuna's commentary, uh, altogether 200 volumes. So these, uh, we study. So that is important. Temple, not important. Usually we we call temple here. Inner temple is more important than external temple. Okay. Thanks a lot, sir. Hmm? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Manisha Narvikar. I'm from Dampe College of Arts and Science, Miramar. My question to you is, what do you have to say to people who... Louder, louder. My question to you is, what do you have to say to people who take religion to promote violence or killing? We see so many of them. Kasha. Now there's... Uh, Religious harmony, one of my commitment, uh, my number one commitment, as I mentioned earlier, uh, number two, my commitment is promotion of religious harmony. India is example. Yes. This country, uh, India's homegrown different religion, Sankhism, Jainism, Buddhism, and within these, uh, sub- subdivisions. Now, for example, in Buddhism, as I mentioned earlier, Vibhashek, Sutantik, uh, Chitta Mantra, and Matimika, like that. Then, from outside, Christian, Islam, Judaism, and then Zorazuddin, in Bombay, about less than 100,000 population, very peaceful, no fear. In Bombay, big city, you see, I think millions of Christians, millions of Hindus uh, and Muslims. The handful uh, Zorazuddin, Parsi, no fear. So, India, besides homegrown different religion, but from outside different religion, uh, reach here and they establish their own sort of city community. Very peaceful. In this country, I never heard 
complaint between Sunni and Shia. And next neighbor, Afghanistan, problem. And Syria in this area, problem. Because of Sunni and Shia killing each other. Unfortunately, in Burma, Buddhist, Muslim, some sort of, I'd say, bully. So this, I think, India's tradition, India, thousand years, of several religion together. That's one advantage. So child, from childhood, Indian mind, yeah, there are many religious traditions. So the concept of several religion, several truth there. Those isolated country, some Muslim country, you see, only one truth, one religion. Then problem started. So in individual case, concept of one truth, one religion, good, in order to keep your faith more sort of, because of the single pointed, very good. But in terms of society, that impossible. So in the, in the terms of society, several truth, several religion, it's reality, we must accept that. So now in this country, Indian Muslim from childhood, they already know there are different religious traditions. Then those country, only Muslim religion, Islam. And then you see their mind, a little bit sort of a lack of sort of contact with, with other religious people. So then problem. So since Indian Muslim, uh, Shia and Sunni, one example in Ladakh, Sunni and Shia problem, I never heard. In India also, you see, I never heard. So Indian Muslim should take some sort of kasuda effort to bring together. So according to my suggestion, some Indian Muslim, they organize uh, in Delhi. Uh, I think uh, uh, national level. Uh, national level. Dawkware, June, oh, in Delhi, national level, uh, the Indian Muslim organize one national level uh, leaders uh, or practitioner of Muslim together. I think one or two days. Since I suggested, and also I made some donation, so they invite me. Uh, I also participate. At that time, uh, fortunately, some Iranian Muslim teachers there, they also participate. So India uh, should take more active sort of role for promotion of religious harmony to show those country where uh, with a different religious tradition and some conflict. It's very unfortunate, unthinkable. All these different religious traditions, in spite of different philosophy, but all carry the same message, message of love. One my friend, one Muslim in Ladakh, Ladakh Turduk. So he expressed at public, uh, as a Muslim, you see, we love Allah. So similarly, we must extend our love towards the entire creature way. Creation way, creature way, creature of Allah. Wonderful. So all religion, different philosophy, some say there is God, some say no God, uh, but they all carry the same message, message of love. Forgiveness. So, no problem. So, therefore, when we saw, you see, in the name of religion, killing, unthinkable. So, we need effort, tirelessly, promotion of religious harmony. Okay. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Good morning, Your Holiness. Uh, this is Ms. Aditi Naik from Department of Botany, Goa University. Uh, my question is, our current education uh, system is primarily focused on the development of the mind rather than the development of the heart and training of the emotions. And mind and the heart are the crucial tools which helps to bring about a positive change in the society. In this regards, what would be your recommendations in incorporating spirituality, well-being, <laughs> compassion in the Indian system of education right from the childhood or the studenthood starting from schools, colleges and universities without the involvement of any religious practices or religious leaders? Thank you. Kajabsa. So that's my, firstly, this country, the concept of Ahimsa, Karuna, this part of Indian tradition. Now this will not put in, not remain in uh, temple uh, and some ritual. Not that way. In secular education field, we must include education about so our, our karuna, practice of karuna, ahimsa, this uh, nothing to do with God or religion or Shivaji. Simply, how to, uh, how to create happy child, happy humanity, happy family, not talking about the next life. Hmm? Thank you. We'll take the last question. So, Padelek, uh, good morning to your holiness. My name is Sumit Singh. Uh, I am from uh, Department of French and Francophone Study, Goa University. My question is, life is full of problem and failure because of we uh, because of that, we face a frustration. How we get out from frustration? Kasa. I think uh, humanity, because of this brain, more or less uh, human intelligence very much combined with self-centered attitude. So therefore, uh, I think we, uh, I think like other animals, like tiger, the eating the other animal for their survival. Once I visited Kasadimin Zoo, Zoo Karate, Hyderabad. Same place, not big sort of area, but same place, one side some tiger, one quite close, some deers there. I asked the uh, people who look after that sort of what's it, eh? or who manages that uh, museum. Any danger? And they say no danger. The tiger has a fat way, give sufficient food. Then no danger to uh, attack. Uh, so tiger, no religion, uh, no rule of law. But they, by nature, the storm are full, then peace. We human being, <laughs> you see, always, you see, create the, the concept of we and they, and then fight. 
And then within the same community, at the global level, also you see gap, rich and poor. Within country, rich and poor. In this country, uh, also the caste system, very bad. This, I think, feudal system use or create question of caste system, lower caste. We should exploit the upper class have some right. That's absolutely, absolutely wrong. So India's caste system is outdated and related with the feudal system. Now India, most of the populated democratic country, these kind of sort of old system must change. So, so then exploitation. So I think very serious. Uh, so then rule of law uh, and corruption. Very sad. Very sad. Now we have to work these uh, the corruption. I think make clear, make public. That's important. One time in Delhi, uh, some uh, some some people, you see, mentioned about these corruptions. Then I told them, uh, sometimes it is necessary demonstration. If you organize some demonstration, I will join. So that's important. Although this is rule of law, but some corruption or some sort of people who have power, they sometimes it's difficult. So people's voice through demonstration, such things, I think sometimes relevant, necessary, like that. Okay. Thank you. Tukje Chik, sir. Thank you, Your Holiness, for sharing your wisdom and firing the minds of our young students. The Goa University would like to affirm the memory of today's presence of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, by presenting mementos to our distinguished guests. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Varun Sani, will present a memento to His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. The Registrar, Professor Y. V. Reddy, will present a souvenir to Sri Rajiv Medrotra, Managing Trustee of the Foundation. It is joyful to give thanks. I invite the Registrar of the Goa University, Professor Y. V. Reddy, to express our gratitude. Your Holiness, Vice Chancellor, Managing Trustee of Foundation for Universal Responsibility, Mr. Rajivji, Distinguished invitees, faculty members, staff, Asha, and students. Asha. It's my privilege to propose a word of thanks on this occasion. Asha. I, on behalf of Goa University, take this opportunity to thank Your Holiness and place on record our warm regards for illuminating our minds on the topic, the relevance of ancient Nalanda teachings in our modern times. We are all inspired by your great words, sir. We are extremely honored to have you this morning. I also would like to acknowledge our gratitude to Mr. Rajiv Merhotra for explaining about a few our activities and also instrumental in uh, uh, establishing Nalanda Chair at uh, Goa University. I am sure with this, there will be many more interactions and uh, uh, the experts in the area will, uh, we, we will benefit greatly from the experts who are likely to visit in this chair. Further, I thank Vice Chancellor for his guidance in uh, organizing this program. Last but not least, I deeply appreciate the efforts put in by each one of the persons involved in arrangements 
and we have worked tirelessly for making this program a grand success. Thank you, one and all. Have a great day. Kindly stand and join in singing the national anthem led by the <laughs> choir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, sign for you. Yeah.